today I'm going to be doing a Ikea hack makeover and today I'm going to be doing the Billy bookcase. Okay, so I don't want to clean it yet because I need to fill in the holes and sand these down as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that straight away so that because um, we need to wait for this to dry obviously before I can start sanding. So I'm just going to take some wood filler. Don't need that much for each hole obviously, but just get it in. Oh yeah, just to say before you do this, make sure you know exactly where you want your shelves to sit um, because once you fill them in, it's going to be a bit difficult to change where you want your shelf placement. Okay, so next I'm going to prime everything that I can. So the wood filler says it takes two hours to dry and I was just going to ignore that and just paint it anyway, but it actually is still really wet. So... That might have to be a tomorrow priming job so i pop the shelves back in just so i can paint them easier So I'm now time to paint on the black. I'm literally just gonna go ahead, pour it in here, and get it on. I'm probably gonna need two or three coats of the black. So the sooner I do that, the better. So it's feeling quite dry now, so I want to do another coat tonight. Okay, so flip to the next day. It was time to put the vinyl at the back of the bookcase. This down, this went down pretty easily. I did have a few little mistakes, which I patched up later on. But yeah, pretty simple. Just roll and cut. Okay, now I'm going to look at the mouldings so I'm just, and I'm going to go and cut pockets. Okay, so I've used a few offcuts that I had um, from doing the hallway pattern and I thought I can stick these then on here just to give the bookcase a little bit of something else because I feel like I painted it and it just looks like a black billy bookcase because that's what it is so I thought if I can do a nice surround like this or something into place what happens when you don't put the lid back on Okay, I'm so sorry I forgot to film it, but I, I was having trouble thinking what I could do to fill in this little gap here. Um, but what I did, and the reason I didn't film it is because I was in such like thinking mode. But what I did do is, because obviously there was a gap here, so I was struggling to think how I could patch it in. Um, but what I did do was I just packed it out with a few pieces of offcuts of moulding, which happened to be the right height as like this little blip here. And then, yeah, I've just glued them all together and I've put three, three rows of mould in there just to hide that, you know, that standard Billy bookcase bottom. Obviously, it doesn't look great like this, but it's not going to be like that. So, yeah, I think I'm going to prime that bit now 
And then later, I can paint. Isn't it, Hugi? Okay, so this is how it's looking at the moment. Okay, so I'm just going um, down the side of here with some wood filler to try and get this all filled in. Okay, so the time has come now for me to paint it black. Um, one thing I would recommend is if you've got a nail gun, use the nail gun. Okay. Ooh. Yes, I've been waiting all day to finish work to paint this. Honestly, I've been so excited to paint this all day. Okay, so quick recap, this is the bookcase before and I can confirm I have now finished the Billy bookcase makeover. video if you did then don't forget to give it a like or a subscribe and also let me know what you think of the billy bookcase hack in the comments see you next time